we know, have been a hot button topic in Colorado for some time, even more so since Parks and Wildlife released 10 of those gray wolves in Summit and Grand Counties in late December. Well, one theory cited widely by many of the groups that advocated for the wolf reintroduction is now being put to the test. The return of wolves to Yellowstone National Park has long been credited with replenishing that habitat and restoring the ecosystem. And researchers in Colorado looked more into that claim. Dylan Thomas is your reporter in northern Colorado and spoke to researchers at CSU about their findings. With the reintroduction of wolves now underway here in Colorado, many may be wondering how long it'll take for us to see the impacts to our ecosystem. Well, a 20 year study into the impacts of reintroduction of wolves in Yellowstone just wrapped up here at CSU, and the answer is it takes a lot longer than you may expect. And wolves are part of the natural biota of Colorado. But now that they have been reintroduced in Colorado, can we expect the ecosystem to quickly change around them? For that answer, we may have to look north to Yellowstone. When you take top predators, like wolves, grizzly bears, cougars, bad things can happen to the ecosystem. Tom Hobbs and David Cooper, researchers with Colorado State University, have spent the last two decades looking into how the reintroduction of wolves in Yellowstone impacted ecosystems in the Rockies, specifically riparian areas. A riparian area is all the vegetation and that exists alongside of streams and rivers. And that's where beavers and willows largely thrive. But when wolves are removed, animals like elk grow in population, causing a domino effect. They consume the willows, leaving beavers nothing to eat or build dams with, which then impacts the vitality of streams and rivers. The extirpation of, of wolves and other predators cause uh, changes in ecosystems that persist for a long period of time. We wouldn't expect that wolves would have much of an effect on ecosystems in Colorado. While Colorado and Yellowstone are unique in their own. Reintroducing the, 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 the predators doesn't change things very quickly. It takes a long, long, long time. Based off the research in Yellowstone. We really wouldn't expect um, the, the introduction of wolves to have effects on the uh, ecosystems of Colorado. But they say that doesn't mean the reintroduction was a bad thing. If you lose a piece, probably a good idea to put it back. And that's supported in the long term. In the end, those researchers tell me the takeaway is removing wolves from those environments has a much more rapid impact on the ecosystem than returning them does. In Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado Furs.